Keepers on Blog Readers, here I am again. Actually, this is my fifth day I was playing. I'm reviewing four, two, ones. I've reviewed two that I didn't plan on reviewing. I may get two Flying Aces later today. I'm not sure. Hopefully, by the end of the week, I'll have Flying Aces out. But right now, I'm going to review an app called TouchGround, you can see. Uh, I'm going to try and get it all in the picture. So, here there's different options. It was kind of weird because the first time I opened it up it comes up to this how to and I thought this is, was all I could do. So, okay. Alright, so I'm just going to go back to the menu. So, for all of you uh, app players, I guess I could call you, uh, you just go up here uh, that's kind of loud, but and you just uh, go like this. So there's warm up, there's jam session, which that is uh, the best single trick score you can get. Forty thousand is my high score, and competition a million one thousand one hundred seventy nine thousand. I haven't been able to get up there again. It's really difficult. The most I can get nowadays is like eight hundred thousand on a good day, and so. I haven't unlocked the Black Devil, the last board. You can do it by, if you have it jailbroken, you can hack into the XML files or some junk like that, put it on your computer and change it so that you don't need a hundred or a million five hundred thousand. You just need like a thousand or something like that. But I'm not jailbroken. I choose not to be because I want my iPod to get screwed up. Uh, so I'll just play with the Zen board today. You need a million to get that. Gonna turn the sound down a little bit. Oh, that's weird. Comes up not the right way. So, tap start. Oh, okay, so you just. Whoa. Alright. So, you stop by touching the back. If you lean to the right, it goes to the right. If you lean to the left, it goes to the left. It's pretty self explanatory. You ride by having two fingers on. If you lean to the right, then it goes to the right. If you lean to the left, it goes left. And to Ollie, it took me a while to get this, but you just lift the first finger and then the second finger. You don't try and go like, Phew. you just first, second, first, second. And then if you want to do a trick, slide first, second, slide first, second. And then if you want to do a cool trick, slide first, slide second. And it just takes practice and getting used to. And if you just want to do a pop shove it, then you, oh, okay, you just lift and then uh, lift and then slide the second. Yeah, I'm gonna try. And... All right, I can't do it right now. Maybe it's just because the camera or something. But so. There's boxes that you can jump onto. When these little icons, when they pop up, then that means you're getting closer and you should jump. So, yeah, I don't have quick enough reflexes. And you can see there's an icon there, so I'll try and jump up onto that. Uh, here's actually a rail. You can even grind. I love grinding. That's how you get most of your points. That's definitely, oh, time's up. That's definitely how you get all that big points you get like a times eight multiplier and then you just do one grind that's like 20 grand and then it ends up being like what's 20 times eight 160 and then you just do that like three times and then or i should say like five times up oh, there we go all right so when you pop up and you have like if you do two fingers it puts it right down if you do one finger, it stops it spinning. So, like, the one finger will be useful if you're trying to get onto a rail, but you don't want it to spin anymore, so you just use one finger. If you want it to just, like, you're doing a trick, and then you just want it to land flat, and you just use two fingers. It's really well made. Just, they should add more tricks, that's all I say, because it's kind of boring sometimes, where you're just doing the same thing over and over. That got pretty good. You can see how I got times four multiplier up oh, times six. 
now it's gone because I fell. And so I give this app four, hmm, probably four point two or so out of five. Just more tricks and it'd be probably four point five. And just the concept of a skateboard game on an iPod is kind of weird because there are tricks where like you're touching your toes or you're moving your legs and it's not like you can really do that on here well you could it'd be like Ugh. and your fingers would just be going all over but the game can't tell that it is so the most it could be is a four and a half out of five I say like a four four point two out of five right now and if you're into skateboarding and everything that's cool if you love multi-touch games that's cool this will be a great game for you for me it's decent. It'll probably go on my first page of my home screen so I can screw around with it. It's also great for showing uh, people how cool your iPhone or iPod touches. But uh, otherwise, for playing, it's like a nice five minute thing. Less than five minutes, even just like three minutes. Just screw, unless you're like into it, super into it. Like I was at the beginning, I wanted to get up to that million five hundred thousand. Once I got up to a million two hundred thousand or so. I just stop. So I say nice two minute, three minute game just to waste a super low amount of time. Just I go into it, I just play it one session. It loads nice and quickly. It's only five megabytes you can download over the air. So just nice and quickly. So have a great day. This is probably going to be my last review. If it's not my last review, I'm hopefully going to do Flying Aces. I'm just trying to make it so that it's easy so that I can like tilt and be flying all over and also have you be able to see everything. So have a good time, have a good day, and enjoy reading and watching all of my reviews.